Okay, in the video previous to this, we um, created a targeted back bet on Rayamore in the 130 at Hereford. What I'm going to do here is um, jumble things up a bit, and I'm going to remove all of these just for a bit of clarity and show you how you can mix and match automation rules as well. So we've been analyzing, or let's say we've been analyzing the Norwich v Arsenal match at the weekend, and what we've decided is that we're going to place a couple of automated trades on this as well. So if we look at this match we can drag and drop the markets we're primarily interested in into Guardian um, and despite the fact that these markets aren't starting for a little while yet we can add them to Guardian, um, save the market list in Guardian, create a rule so that when we start up BetAngel on this day it will go in and perform the functions that we require. So if we go to match odds and go to automation I'm going to create a new rule for this market Norwich v Arsenal match odds and um, let's think about what we can do. Maybe, um, maybe we can lay the draw on this and what I'm going to do is say place a lay bet uh, just before the start of the match so we go five minutes before the start of the match we're only going to do it once and we're going to lay the draw and how much are we going to lay that for? We will go for the best market price for the hundred pound um, and that, that is the rule uh, there's nothing more complicated to do there I think and for some reason I put lay the drag <laughs> that's a, an interesting uh, variation on a the theme there we go we've corrected that um, now of course just laying the draw um, isn't a particularly interesting strategy. You may be able to make money from that, you may be not, not be able to make money. But what we want to do is we want to green out on this match at some point. So in a previous video I think I said green out at half time. But what about if we green out when we have a profit, i.e. when a goal is scored? So in order to do that we need to add a new rule to our list. So I'm going to go up here and say add new rule to our list. And we're going to call this this rule we're going to call lay the draw green out after goal and then I'm going to do add a rule and this rule will be green up if in profit so our strategy here is going to be green up if in profit and let the bet run if we're not and what we need to do is make it um, relative to the in-play time. So we'll give it the instruction to say um, green all selections relative to start time. We're going to start looking for the opportunity to green up. We'll wait for the market to settle down. We'll give it three minutes as the match goes in play. And we're going to keep this running. We can sort of keep it running ad infinitum I suppose. Um, so we'll do it a couple of hours after the start time. The match is going to last 90 minutes plus 15 minutes so I'm, I'm just doing an arbitrary value here. Then we need to apply some parameters um, to this. In fact we don't because we're greening up so there are no parameters required but we need to apply conditions to this particular bet. So the conditions we're going to apply are the following. In play condition the market is in play because we can only green up and there's only can be a goal scored if it's in play. Then we're also going to add a condition here saying um, close trade profit condition or green all profit condition probably um, you could use either in this case because close trade profit will say aha we're in profit on the draw or you could say we're going to profit if we green up across the entire book so we use the green all profit condition on this occasion and we're going to say if the green all profit value across all conditions is greater than zero then allow this condition to happen. So what we've said here is basically at start time or th after three minutes into the match up until the end of the match um, green all. But we're saying only green all if the market is in play and the potential profit is above zero. So on a lay the draw strategy if the home team is in the lead at some point then you will be in profit on the draw and therefore this condition will trigger. 
Now, what we need um, to do here as well is probably the safest thing to do is to say allow the rule to trigger 10 times and wait 5 seconds before attempting to rearm because what this will say is you know, say a goal goes in uh, or we could actually say something like wait 60 seconds before rearming because say a goal goes in the market may not have reformed immediately so we need to repeat the rule on a couple of occasions so it keeps checking the market and making sure that it has actually greened up so you'd probably I'm not saying that 10 and 60 is the right setting you you probably have to fiddle around with this um, you could actually say maybe just three times and wait 30 seconds before rearming because you're not going to lose any more money um, by continuing to green it will be green already the software will recognize that it's greened and maybe it's not green perfectly it will send another bet in but basically this is a capture rule it makes sure that if it misses one condition for whatever reason say the market has been up, hasn't been resuspended or there's not much money there it will go in and um, continue to green up if in profit so you know this is a sort of a, an arbitrary rule in terms of um, how you want it to apply um, if you're not watching the match this would allow you to exit a position at that particular point and the great thing about this rule is you could actually if you wanted to um, apply this across a whole number of matches simultaneously and it would just monitor those wait for the green profit uh, to appear and then automatically green up using these conditions so if we uh, save that rule now we can actually apply it uh, to this market but the great thing about this as well is that you could actually go in and create another rule um, on another market so if you wanted to I mean we've got a rule here for horse racing we've got a rule on match odds we can now go in and create a rule on over and under one and a half goals so in fact you could create as many rules as you like for as many different markets that you like even different sports and so on and Guardian will go through each of these markets look at each of these markets cycle through it look at the criteria you've specified and then take action on that point so it's a wonderful little tool for doing this for advancing the amount of activity they've got on multiple markets but also bear in mind you can actually do this um, in practice mode as well so if you want to test an idea see how the rules react and cope with the way that the market is suspended unsuspended um, different times of the match when there's lots of activity or little activity or you just want to you've come up with some crazy idea that you want to test perfectly possible using this tool and the great thing is you can use it on multiple markets at the same time as which you're doing something else so if I close down Guardian I haven't written the rule for one and a half goals because I don't want the video to go on forever but we'll close the list of markets in Guardian and despite the fact that that match is going off in a couple of days time that rule stays in Guardian and every time we start up Bet Angel and do something it will go in and execute against that rule so we can now get on and do whatever we have to do today and then when we open Bet Angel tomorrow and then in two days time it will just pick up that particular rule and execute as you have instructed so hugely flexible tool uh, loads of weird and wonderful things you can do um, just get out there and have a go and don't forget when you're learning how to do it use practice mode so that uh, you get familiar with all of the functions capabilities and individual quirks within these markets